Where are you today? Good morning, this is April M. Williams, and today we're at the White Key Natatorium. This is a World War I memorial, which was built in 1927 to honor vets who served for the American and the British Army and Navy during World War I. So this ser serves as a memorial to those over 100 vets. Now, when it was built in 1927, outdoor natural saltwater pools were very popular. So this is a saltwater pool. It's 100 by 40 meters, and it sits on the edge of the Pacific Ocean here. It also has some bleachers and rest areas and the parking facility here. So in 1927, when it was first opened, the first person to swim in the pool was Duke Kahanamoku. He was a very famous Hawaiian. He was an Olympiad, and he also was born of Hawaiian blood. He was the original beach boy out here on Waikiki Beach as a surfer. So not only did Duke Kahanamoku swim in here, but Johnny Weissmuller and Buster Crab, two other Olympians. During the years, this building has fallen into disrepair. Some money has been spent to restore it and bring it back to some of its original beauty. This popular swimming area was placed on the National Historic Register spot in 1980, and it was closed in 1997. The mayor of Honolulu has voted recently to demolish the building. They want to take down the bleachers and the pool and just demolish those. So they do want to keep these arches, these beautiful stone arches, and use those in a different area of White Key. Now the archway is very distinctive. It has this four stone eagles up in the top corner and the ornamentation along the top of the walls too. So it's a very unusual architecture on this, this archway. And they do want to preserve those arches and move those into a different part of town. As you can see, the natatorium here is falling apart. There's open water, salt water pool in here which is crumbling and around the edges you can see the walkways are covered with some boards. You know, so it's a very dangerous condition. Um, you can see the beautiful ornamentation up near the top and this is a side view of the gate that we looked at earlier with the four stone eagles up in the top corner of it. And across the street from the Waikiki Natatorium War Memorial is this Roll of Honor plaque. It is a plaque which lists the names of the people that served in the Army, in the Navy, either for American or British forces during World War I, and it represents the people that the Natatorium was built for to honor. So remember, Hawaii was not a state at that time, so these 50 people served for the Hawaiian Territory. While the Natatorium War Memorial is closed, the restrooms are available for public use if you need to make a stop while you're in Waikiki. From the Natatorium, the White Key World War I Memorial, we're here today. We've got, if you're out here, please check out the Natatorium. Go check out the Roll of Honor, which is right across the street. It's a beautiful spot right on the Pacific Ocean. This is April M. Williams. Where are you today?